What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Adre the Plug, coming at you live with some more technical heat. I'm going to just jump right back into my solo videos. I got plenty of people that keep hitting me up saying, when are you going to get back into, you know, doing the electronic reviews? I got companies, sponsorships that I just been putting on hold because of all of the interviews. They're like, when are you going to get right back into the lab and, you know, review some of our products? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to just go back to doing my normal solo videos. Definitely go check out all the interviews that I pretty much dropped of a lot of other engineers from all across the country. But I'm about to get right back into it. I'm going to get right back into this technical heat. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button below. Make sure y'all hit that bell below so y'all can stay notified every single time I drop new technical heat. Besides that, let's get into it, man. i roll the clip. Let's get into some of this new technical heat. Let's see what's really the hype behind a new Galaxy Z Flip 3. Okay, so this video won't necessarily be a review, but I'm more so just go through all of the different features that the phone have and kind of just pinpoint what's extremely dope about this phone versus other phones that's on the market. And something else I wanted to kind of just go through is the different things that you can do with a Galaxy Z Flip in general. So I'm not even gonna touch on the fact that, you know, if you had a Galaxy Z Phone 1 or 2, these are the difference. I'm really just gonna go based off of a review of if you never even touched a Galaxy Z Flip type of phone in general, or really, I'm gonna just break down all of the basics of the features. So that way it's not like, oh, you know, I kinda already knew that. If you're somebody that never picked up a phone, anything close to this, or never even had an Android, I'm gonna basically go all the way down into the specific details of the dopest features on this phone. So let's get into it. Okay, so jumping into one of the first features that really separates the Galaxy C Flip 3 from other phones is the fact that you have this little square right here that allows you to press it. And now boom, you instantly have a screen on the back of your phone that allows the person that's getting a picture taken to also see exactly what's going on on your phone. So for example, if I zoom in, it'll also be zoomed in this way. And if I zoom out, as you can see, it also zooms out. So yeah, if you have both screens on, back, front, you can still zoom all the way in or zoom all the way out regardless of if you're recording or if you're taking pictures. So something else about the Galaxy Z Flip 3 camera, once it's bent, pretty much the whole app kind of shifts a bit. And it's pretty much for all the apps on the Galaxy Z Flip 3 in most cases. Once it's bent, it kind of switches into a different mode. And as you can see, you have your whole camera screen at the bottom. But if you go right here and you tap this box button right here, you can see that it just shifts to the top. And that kind of just goes along with all of the other apps when it comes down to the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Okay, so jumping into my fingerprint sensor. So something I really like about it is the fact that it's also a button and it's in a position to where your thumb will be naturally. I think that's really, really interesting because nine times out of 10, you have your fingerprint sensors where you gotta press it or push it in a specific way. Some are on the back and you gotta make sure that you're in the right spot. You gotta make sure your fingerprint is actually showing in some areas. But when it comes down to this one, I just love the fact that Regardless of how I pick it up, regardless of how I put my thumb, it will instantly unlock the phone as long as your thumb is in the vicinity because your thumb, you know, is naturally in that position anyways. So yeah, also with the fingerprint sensor, you can actually go in and change the settings. So if you know, for example, if you want to just scroll down on a sensor and just simply slide it down, your whole option menu you will end up scrolling down and if you want to just slide it right back up it'll just slide all the way back up so it's different settings that you can do within these three buttons which is the volume up volume down and fingerprint sensor slash button you can also press it three times to launch apps or you know even switch into camera mode or video camera mode so you definitely have other options when it comes down to the buttons on the side also like i said that's pretty much still already resting in a position to where your phone is already in your hand. Okay, so let's get into our functions when the phone is completely closed, right? So you double tap it, tap, tap, and you have your time, you have your battery life, you have their day of the week, you have your month, and you have your day. And if you swipe it, you have your music player. Hey, man, what's up? This is Dominique from Shannon. You have your 
weather, you have your calendar, you know, just like different events. You have your alarm, and lastly, you have your timer. Swipe all the way left. You have your notifications, and you can literally see what people said, messages, different apps between Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all of that right here before you even open your phone. So I feel like that's extremely dope. Yeah, so like when it comes down to the screen, we're really separated from other phones and all the other Galaxy Z Flip phones out there. It's definitely the screen, and you could even add more widgets to it and just add other additional stuff to it. And I can only imagine all the different stuff that's gonna happen when people really end up, you know, doing a computer science work on their own and just doing different hacks and adding other things and implementing other things to the screen. My favorite thing is definitely the music because you just instantly, you just instantly play pause and just go back and forth through different music apps, especially like when you're in the gym, you know, you're working out and you don't want to just take your phone out, unlock it, and then go to the music app. You may want to switch something up or some may end up pausing or something like that. You don't even have to worry about that. If you just take your phone out, double tap, swipe, and it's right there. Okay, so jumping into also uh, the whole camera and video camera experience with the phone being completely closed. So if I just tap it, and if I double tap it, you'll actually have your camera. It's just letting me know if I toggle from left to right, I can switch it from the photo to the video camera. So as you guys see, this is the photo. If I double tap it, I just capture the photo. If I swipe, and I also double tap it, it'll start recording. So now it's recording. As you can hear from the sound, you see the actual time right there. Let me show you. It's recording, and then to stop it, double tap. Okay, so let's get into our multitasking, right? So as of right now, I am on the gram, and if I simply just fold my screen, you can see like the whole bottom section is open for me to do other things. So I have my volume, my brightness, screenshot, and then notifications in general, right? Just drop down notifications. So if I want to, and if I want to just add other apps, I could just put them right there, but I'm gonna show you guys from when the phone is completely straight. So let's just say I go here, right? And these are all my apps. Apps I could just drag and drop. So let's just say I hit YouTube, drag it right here at the bottom. YouTube and as you guys can see now I am on YouTube but I'm also still on Instagram so let's just say play this video so this video is being played as you guys can see it's YouTube Instagram still going on while the video is going so let's just say for example right let's say I want to swap these two I'll hit these arrows like the up one and the down one And they just instantly just swap. So now YouTube is at the top, Instagram is at the bottom. I could still do anything. I could even post a story right now, and Instagram will still work perfectly with both apps going. Also, let's say for example, right? I wanted to just scoot this up because I don't need to look at the likes or the title. That way I have more of a section to actually use Instagram. And interesting facts, I was using one of my iPhones the other day. The iPhone is the same exact size as this section of Instagram. So it's literally like I just have an extra section of a phone. That's really what it feels like. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's just say for example, right? I wanted to just put it right back, I put it right back. Or if I wanna swap them out again, just hit the arrows, they'll switch. And then if I wanted to save this, like I wanna save the Instagram being at the top and I want to save the YouTube being at the bottom, I could just hit this save right there and it'll save inside of here. Kind of like how this is shown, that's shown, you kind of see it. So something else, right? So you have two apps going. If I want to add even a third app, just have three apps going at once, right? As you can see right there, it says drop here, pop of view, just drop it right there. Now I can use this app and just have it in the center use it move it around and still youtube is going instagram still going go back to instagram as you can see back on the ground 
I want to go to some of these photos and do different things with the photos. I have all of that going also. So you have the option of really having three apps running all at once. And if I want to just move this out the way, say remove, then I'll just go back to my two apps. So a lot of people wonder how exactly do the phone close, right? So it simply has magnets in this area right here. I'm actually show you guys. So a lot of people wonder why does it make that sound no matter how slowly you close it? So yeah, pretty much as you can see at the very top right here, it's a magnet right there right here and it's one right here so it's magnets that end up snapping them together to actually make the phone fold and snap perfectly every time something else i just wanted to point out was the hinge so you could literally bend it and it will stay in place no matter what and it's just i would say it's legit it's super durable so the phone also have magnets at the bottom in the same area as i just showed at the top but yeah, something I wanted to point out was the hinge. So I feel like it's extremely stiff, really, really durable of a hinge. Like you could literally get it to this, this much of it being open and it will not really move unless you put some force on it to either open or close it. So the hinge is super, super strong for sure. It's not a, a flimsy type of phone that you'll simply like how they would kind of was making a lot of jokes on the internet about how you could just close it and just hang up on somebody. You will definitely need a little bit of force in order to really close it completely every single time, especially with just one hand. So real quick, right? I wanted to just touch on going based off my iPhone, right? As you guys can see, it's pretty much the same exact size of the screen on the multitask, I basically have a whole another section for YouTube at the top, which is pretty crazy. Literally to the T, it's the same size as the iPhone screen in multitask. And if I just scooted that YouTube section up, so also you guys see how the multitasking work. I just want to point out. You bend it and if you fold it basically it can still use the phone as if it's a book it can still be on YouTube it can still be on Instagram okay so let's get into the wireless power sharing right so all that basically means is if your phone let's just say for example it's on like a hundred to ninety percent and somebody just told you yo my phone is about to die it's only on five percent it's only on ten percent can you basically transfer some of your battery to my phone? All you would do is go here to the wireless power sharing, turn it on, and you'll basically flip the phone over, right? You will simply, I'll use my iPhone real quick, put it on top, and as you guys can see, the iPhone is charging. Okay, so let's say I go to wireless power sharing, I hit it again. Flip my device over and put my phone on top of it. And as you can see, it is charging. I'll actually show you guys what I'm talking about just to make sure that you can see we are charging. Okay, so let's jump into the design change, right? So what's some things that I will go in and change about the Galaxy Z Flip 3? So for one, I must say this is probably one of the most smoothest looking phones if you ask me i really enjoy the whole functionality of it by the way that it folds by the way that it opens the back it just looks like a beautiful phone if you ask me but something that i would definitely change i will make this whole back screen a whole nother screen so that way who knows like once you fold it you can have access to different apps and different things here and then with everything going on on this side you will be able to do the same exact thing but maybe you will just have different apps that you could have access to on this side. Cause I mean, if you could do it to this side, I don't see why you can't also, you know, do it on this side right here. But I mean, we are pushing the envelope with the back screen that we also have at the moment. But I'm just saying, if I was to go in and make any more changes, I feel like if the whole back screen 
just had a whole nother way of accessing different apps, that would definitely change the game. So something else that I wanted to touch on was the fact that the whole internet was pretty much complaining about this crease right here that's in the dead center. I mean, you really can't get rid of it, but I feel like after using the phone for about four or five months, I really barely notice it. The only reason I even think about it is because I keep thinking about when it comes down to the biggest flaw that this phone had was more so this crease right here. A lot of people complained about that more than anything, but I feel like once you use the phone, over time, you won't even notice that it's there. Okay, so I wanna talk about another dope feature that's extremely slept on when it comes down to the Galaxy Z Flip 3. And it's the fact that when you FaceTime somebody or, you know, go on Instagram and get a video call from somebody, I like the fact that you get your portion of the screen that's specifically for you, and then you have the bottom portion that's for the person that you're calling, and you can adjust it and move it as much as possible and everything still stay in place. And this is super dope for if you have other things that you have going on to the point that you don't want to just sit here and hold your phone all day or you don't want to, you know, be real cautious of what you're doing with your phone while you're talking to somebody or your arm could just be tired and you want to put it down and just set it down somewhere. I just like the fact that you can just put it into like this laptop mode and just sit it down and then call and it don't look like you're not really giving the person that you're talking to the attention in most cases when you don't want to hold your phone you'll just sit it flat down and it'll literally just take a recording of your ceiling so i really really like this feature Hey, hey, can you see me? Yes. All right, perfect. Can you see me? I see you. You see me? Okay, yeah, I got it. All right, perfect. Yeah, so basically, I'm just shooting a section of a video where I'm kind of just showing people how basically like the FaceTime slash Instagram video is like kind of displayed on the Galaxy Z Flip 3. And I really like how mm -hmm. the top part, it just shows me and then the bottom part, like it'll show whoever you're talking to. So I just wanted to that shoot a video. Is that the phone that um, flips? Half. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the first time of me like ever kind of I'm like basically doing my review for the first time right now. I'm kind of showing people how we go kind of showcasing it. Just wanted to kind of just throw this section of the video in there so people could see like this is an amazing feature also. Yeah, I like Samsung is really innovative. They usually have features before iPhones have them um, as far as like being able to customize your phone, really personalize your phone. Um, and Samsung is doing things that Apple just isn't gonna do. Facts. But yeah, also I was gonna say, um, we can go through some of the filters just to show the people that'll still also work with the filters kind of how it is, even with the split screen. Show like a few of them. I got a couple right here. So you guys can see with the laser eyes. My technical heat filter right there and the cut. <laughs> I got the baddie filters. Uh-oh. You mean the catfish filters? Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to say that's really cool how the screen um, folds, but yes. She's doing big chilling. You know me. Uh-oh. I got it. Got can, I give a shout out to my, can I give a shout out to my channel? No, you cannot give a shout out to your channel. <laughs> nah, go ahead. Well, go, ahead. Hater, go ahead. Go ahead. While I'm recording. Go subscribe to my channel at uh, Pop Style Lashes on YouTube. You know. There you go. Comment, Check like, and subscribe. Don't be afraid to hit that dislike button. Andre. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on the gram at Dre the Plug. One, two, three. And then also, go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.